So guys, uh, welcome to uh, to our R3E multiplayer test. Uh, we're giving you a first insight into uh, the next upcoming update, uh, which is due uh, next week. Uh, what we've noticed there is there is already some questions. Uh, so get basically uh, from from someone, hey guys, uh, is the is the uh, the interface included in the next update? So therefore, you know, we can already say that yes, what you're seeing here today. Uh, yeah, will be part of the next update that's coming. <laughs> so again, for some of you who's just joined, feel free to send your questions in and we'll do our best to get them uh, answered for you.
Hi guys, so yeah, we, we're already seeing quite a lot of questions coming through uh, through the stream. Uh, what we will do is we'll wait for the for the race to finish, the multiplayer race, and then we'll uh, we'll hold we'll hold sort of a Q and A session to get some of these uh, questions answered. Hi guys, so yeah, uh, some of the questions coming in uh, uh, regarding multiplayer, you know, it's, um, yes, of course, the next update will have multiplayer, which is available to, to all R3 users, uh, so that's good. Uh, some of you already said that it's the 9th of September, yes, that's when we're hoping to update things. Again, some questions regarding licensing, which, as you all know, is quite a touchy subject. Um, you know, sadly, yes, a lot of those licenses are obtained by other other studios, which which is annoying. You know, people like Ferrari, Lamborghini, Porsche to some extent, and uh, of course we are trying everything possible to get those licenses in, but uh, but these things will take time. So sadly, for the RDRT pack of 2013, they will not contain Ferrari, Porsche, and Lamborghini. Um, but we are trying certainly for the 2014 experience, uh, which will come later on in the year. Uh, regarding the pricing strategy behind uh, the RDRT 2013 pack, of course this is be currently being discussed with the publisher uh, right now, which is Race Room Entertainment Argy, and uh, we hope to set a fair pricing strategy uh, which will uh, hopefully please all you guys. Uh, and that not only goes on the, the, the pack content, but also the single use content that's available in R3D today. Maybe we can say something about the discounts. Of course, yes, the discounts. Uh, you know, as I said, you know, we've been working on an update uh, which will happen on the 9th of September. Included in that update is, of course, uh, link discounts. So for those people who have bought already existing content in R3E, will be given a discount when it comes to purchasing any kind of pack. Yeah, regarding hosting your own servers, I mean, right now, this uh, multiplayer release that will go live next week uh, is still the target date, by the way, but uh, it's still a multiplayer alpha, and right now all the servers are hosted by our, by our own uh, means, um, so we will be uh, managing our own servers in the beginning, but there are plans in the future to, yes, obviously, share the dedicated servers with you, uh, so you can run your own leagues, obviously, so...
uh, you don't want to see our faces. <laughs> Well, that's a, an open question right now because um, right now the dedicated servers, if I can give you a little bit of uh, inside info, is basically just a command window that runs uh, all the operations. Uh, there will obviously be a need for a UI. Um, th this is still, you know, in design right now. So. So yeah, I see a question regarding the Nord's life, planned at any time or a bit secret? Um, yeah, what's the best answer to, to, to give there really? Of course, we'd like it to remain <laughs> secret as possible. Uh, the best answer is, uh, let's see what happens next. Yes, the next update, so it will include the new force feedback code, yes, as well as, uh, let me read the questions, let's do. yeah, it will include the force feedback, but also the road field feature that will add, uh, you know, action bumps, um, you know, in the past, if you are familiar with the, the games, um, it was all f fictional bumps that were faked by the, by the engine. And now we are actually uh, adding um, actual bumps, 3D bumps that maybe uh, feel three uh, behind me here. We'll maybe tell you all about it because he's the you know the, the guy behind that feature. Okay, so yeah, another question there. Will we have any new cars or tracks besides RDRT Cont with the September 9th update? Uh, of course, there will be some new cars uh, being added to, 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 the, to, the, to the update. And of course, the ability to run uh, a lot of the DTM tracks, which are only available in the DTM experience, of course, they will now be made available to, uh, to the R3 users to purchase. The not so secret question about steering degrees, I know that there is a programmer right now driving Victor. He worked on a feature that automatically detects, detects your wheel settings and um, adjusts the game settings accordingly. But I'm not sure that would be part of the patch. Maybe it uh, needs some additional sec uh, testing. Yeah, the target date is 9th of September, so that's Tuesday. And right now we're looking good. <laughs> Just saying. So some more questions coming in there, maybe Jeff, you can give a quick answer. Yeah, this is more about car physics rather than uh, road feel in itself. I mean, the, the track surface, yes, has an effect, but I mean, right now we have some touring cars in the work that, um, you know, Mark Reynolds, for, the, for those who know him, uh, is working on car physics for the, for the cars. And I have seen some pretty impressive suspension travel uh, on those touring cars. So, um, yeah, but that's a process, I mean, that's a work that takes a long time. And did you win your... Good race. Good race, okay. So, um, making physics is something that takes a long time, so... Um, 
you will see those um, updates I think later this year yeah. <laughs> for uh, content that will um, be released in the last quarter of this year absolutely so again you know another question there owners of the DTM can use tracks on RRE yes of course you know you will be uh, you will be given a, a discount you know those for who's bought a DTM experience <coughs> Of course, those those tracks will be available in R3E, and uh, you you know for a a small fee, uh, you will be asked to purchase them, and then you can use them inside the R3E framework. Guys, we can't click the links that you are sharing in the chat. So um, let's go Red Bull Ring. Or actually, no. <laughs> uh, you can actually say something about Road Field. This is Field Street behind me. Hello, guys. Oh, take <coughs> we had some questions during while you were driving about the track surface. Mm -hmm. Maybe since you, maybe you have some. Words uh, for was that. there any exactly question or just general question? They just want to know, the, you know, uh, how this is actually working uh, and what okay. what they can expect in the in the update. Let's go Nova Green. Hey. Okay, a uh, few words fr from me. Uh, we are working right now on uh, track surface improvements. I mean, um, um, first of all, I would like to say that uh, we are pursuing uh, rising. That's that's our goal. I mean, uh, so don't expect. Um, what I want to say that racing track is by default should be by default quite flat. So we are not trying to make. Uh, bumps like in, you can see in some maybe other games that you know it, it's not about like random noise generator you, when you drive a car you, you usually have like more bumps on, on the braking zones uh, on the exit of the corner uh, and it all depends on, on what, what you feel in the car it depends on, on the actual car on the suspension on the setup so we're trying to be precise uh, with, with this I mean result is I must say that pretty good I mean we are all impressed right, right now of course, uh, this is, I would say, like mm, our first step, big one, and we are trying to improve all the time. Even right now, we are testing with, with guys, so after this meeting, we will have some discussion probably and maybe improve even more. Uh, from technical point of view, uh, what we do? First of all, we decided to add another layer. Probably guys who are familiar with modding, probably you will know more about this. The second layer will be responsible for, for the bumps. It will be very high poly mesh that uh, will have very precise and bumps uh, in proper places. Uh, how do we do that? Well, it's I don't want to say that it's a secret, but obviously uh, we have our own sources, like uh, some feedback from drivers, some telemetric, that's some CAT data. We, can, we are using everything what we want. Of course, pictures, I mean, uh, videos, that's, even this is, is very useful. If we can, we go on the track, like a few weeks before we went uh, on the spa, so we know how those tracks look in real life. We, we, we touch the tarmac, so <laughs> we know how it is, uh, and we are trying to, to deliver our best right now. So, if we have some more technical questions, I mean, I can answer more precisely. Good. Thank you. Thanks. I think they went Red Bull Ring. Yo. Wait. Oh no, it's it's Nurburgring. So guys, uh, again, some more questions that have come in, uh, specifically about the WTCC. Um, you know, is it planned? Uh, of course. You know, our, our, our aspirations are always to, to try and sign up some of the some of the best race series uh, in the world, um, and, and we are working towards that. You know, WTCC. There will be an announcement uh, very soon regarding that and uh, you know we hope that you will be playing some of the WTCC content uh, you know sooner rather than later so yeah and there is a question about um, dusk and dawn yes I mean, you've seen some videos and screenshots um, different time of days this is definitely something that we are working on and uh, we'd be coming in the 
really near future because I think that's actually next in the line um, to release a, you know, a way of uh, changing the time of day on the track. Which one? Which one is great? Uh, we are we're live now. So next to me now is Anthony Montel, uh, our sound designer. If you have any questions directly to him, just feel free to shoot. <laughs> Not to shoot him, but shoot okay. don't, don't, don't shoot. <laughs> Please don't shoot me. <laughs>
So yeah, uh, wh right now you can see Jorg. Uh, he exited the server and you could see a bit of the the UI, the menus to access multiplayer. And um, as you could see, I mean, Jorg didn't own all the content, but that doesn't matter for this multiplayer because you can still play with other people with only owning only one car livery if if that's what you choose to purchase. So. Um, Adjusting the camera pitch, Yo. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's on a wish list and uh, it should be done fairly soon. It's something I know people want because every simulator is different and I wanted it for a long time. So hopefully soon. <coughs> okay. 